Blu-ray Maniac here to show off my um, uh, Blu-ray haul for the time period of, I would say, mid-April to uh, about mid-May 2019. I've uh, picked up a few things, more than a few things, actually. Um, lots of um, stuff to show. Steel books, media books. Arrow uh, box sets, Criterion, the works. So let's get this started with Sarah T, Portrait of a Teenage Alcoholic. I grabbed this um, from Amazon um, during a price drop. Uh, I don't think I wanted to, I, I did not want to spend 30 bucks for a TV movie. <clears throat> So, uh, I think I got a good deal on this. Uh, yeah, uh, Linda Blair, Post Exorcist. Um, this was an early April release, so I got this from Diabolic. And I promptly put it in a black case, which I believe looks quite nice. Um, this is... Um, oh, this was a long, long-awaited uh, uh, release for me. Uh, first heard about it, uh, I want. I said to myself, "I need this right now. I need it yesterday." Um, I was about eight or nine years old when I saw this at the, the theaters in theater in Brooklyn uh, with, on a double bill with something, uh, and I am very glad that uh, Shout Factory was able to. Licensed this from uh, Studio Canal. Uh, Scared Stiff with a, a Diabolic exclusive slip cover. The slip itself is not very good in terms of material. It's, not, it's very thin, almost paper-like. Uh, but I couldn't pass it up. Um, have not seen the movie. So I don't know if it's good or not. But that, it's probably very cheesy. Uh, it's from the late 80s. Um, and uh, this is the... Oh, boy. This is the problem of with ma making these videos with, with the cell phone. You, one hand is not enough to, to do this stuff. Scared Stiff. A very nice cover there. Not sure if this is original or not, or not but it, it, it's got to be right. It's got to be because uh, it's Arrow, and Arrow um, typically does these uh, commissioned uh, slips. Uh, in this case, it's not an Arrow slip; it's a Diabolic DVD slip. But uh, yeah, um, that's got to be original art. Um, Kioma Spaghetti Western. Arrow. Um, I have not seen this one yet. Hopefully, it's good. It's Franco Nero. This I imported from Italy. Violent City. Um, I very much enjoy movies like this. And it's Bronson, so. This came in a Criterion style case. It's I think it's it's region free. It says it says B. It says B, but uh, I stuck it in the player and it played just fine. It played it started playing. So um I guess it's region free. Gas Pump Girls from a Scorpion. Very nice release. And uh, I never did watch my DVD copy, so hopefully this is a, a fun movie. I, it's got to be fun. It's eighties uh, teen sex. Arctic. Uh, this blind buy. I enjoy. I, I have seen it. I did enjoy it very much. Um, a very worthy br a blind buy, in my opinion. Uh, so, if any of you guys enjoy survival epics, I would uh, recommend that. I got this yesterday. And Kino licensed this from Studio Canal. Can't wait to check it out. 1987. 
featuring Steve Gutenberg. The Grand Duel. This one has um, Tarantino apparently borrowed the uh, the theme from this for uh, Kill Bill. Uh, at first, uh, when I um, spun this disc, like I always do with new releases, I couldn't I couldn't f- figure out what where, this, where the song had uh, where, where I had heard the song before, and then I it, it hit me, Kill Bill. Uh, blind by have not seen this, so I hope it's good. This is Spaghetti Western number two for April May twenty nineteen. I imported this from Germany. It's What Lies Beneath. Schatten der Wach, white, whatever. Uh, the picture quality is not um, a demo demo material, uh, but it's I, it's very acceptable in my opinion. It just looks a, a little like, a, a little bit like uh, like a video, like a processed video. Um, but it's the only HD um, release of the film anywhere in the world. Overlord, I was not too crazy. I was not very impressed by this film. I was impressed by the special effects. This was a blind buy. Um, ultimately, I did enjoy the film. Uh, but, it, you know, it's just... Um, I think it it just had... Um, I didn't realize its full potential. Good effects, again. Uh, great. The Manitou. Shout Factory, a uh, Studio Canal pickup. Um, saw this on. I, I saw this one on TV, and I uh, never forgot it. Quite nice, and I stuck it in the uh, black case. I think it looks great. Looks very good. And Pet Cemetery. This is my only 4K pickup. Uh, 4K. Yeah, you know, um, I'm only doing back catalog stuff. Uh, for now, because I, I just you know the newer stuff like the Marvel stuff, I haven't been too impressed with to be honest. Um, I got this from eBay. Six films, all media books, released by is it Nameless? Yeah, Nameless. This is. I can't even see the number. It's number 214, I think. Yeah, 214. Sorry about the glare. Um, This originally had a bust of um, the villain, the one of the uh, freaks from the film. Uh, but I told the guy, uh, listen, I, I don't need the bust and I don't need the T-shirt. Keep those. Give me a discount. And he agreed. He accepted accepted my offer, and here it is. I, I really needed this in my collection. I love the films, uh, and this was um, quite a collector's piece. If anybody wants to see an unboxing or whatever, like a, a more in depth or even uh, just photos of it, let me know, and I will oblige. Um, wrong turn. Six films. Grab this. At first, I did not want to, but um, I do love the films. Shop Factory. It's co- it comes in a very nice hard uh, case, which is a refreshing change. Uh, and I, I didn't pay full price because I had a bit of a PayPal credit, which I used to lower the price. And there it is. Rec Collection Quadrilogy. Uh, classic Hitchcock set. Uh, this was on sale on Am- on Amazon. I got it for about fifty five bucks. Again, I had some credit on Amazon, and I went for it. I uh, I always wanted to pick up uh, at least two of these: Lady Vanishes and uh, Foreign Correspondent. But I'm glad to have this set um, in my collection. I'm gonna get rid of the the box and just keep the. Uh, uh, MRAs separate, uh, just put them on shelf in alphabetical order. Uh, that's some box sets for you. Um, Cujo import. This is from the UK, Eureka. 
Eureka is doing some interesting th things with uh, movies. Uh, they're not, they're not only putting, just putting out, uh, fancy dramas or, and whatnot. They're also doing things like Cujo and, um, Fright Night. Uh, this is a very nice hard case. And it sure beats what, uh, what's available now. I think the Olive or Lionsgate did, uh, the, the, the U.S. Blu-ray and the artwork is horrible. Came with this nice little booklet. Um, Eureka, Cujo, the region B though. 88 films, Just Franco's The Devil Hunter. Uh, I'm grabbing many of these mainly for the packaging. The films, uh, I'm not a huge fan of because they're so crappy. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it's okay. It's, it's a cheapie, you know, and this guy cranked out so many films. Uh, that uh, I don't know what's good and what's not. I grabbed this from Amazon Germany. Uh, it's not from Nameless. It's the company's called uh, Film Jewelin. So I have no idea if it's <clears throat> if they're um, related to uh, um, to Nameless or if it's some kind of a subsidiary or what. But um, I picked it up. <clears throat> And the picture quality is alright. It's a little dark in spots. <clears throat> but it's the only HD version uh, release of the film anywhere in the world. So I must have. <clears throat> Grab that from eBay. Nice little media book. Grab this from eBay. Horizontal media book of X ray. Very nice. And um, grab that from eBay, Scarecrows. Nice little film from 88. Mad uh, Man from Diabolic DVD. It's a media book. And Spring Breakers. Yeah, Spring Breakers. Nice, huh? Right. It's not the movie that counts. It's the uh, the scenery. Uh, these are brand new pickups. I grabbed these today. Best Buy. We just walked in and grabbed them. Uh, Cold Pursuit. That was fun. That was a fun flick. Miss Bala. Now, I thought this was the, the original 2011 or 2013 film. Uh, I, I did not realize at first that they actually remade this. I mean, the original was only released, what, six, five, six years ago? Why do they remake movies like this? I mean, movies that are new, basically new, or relatively recent. Um, I, but I, I have heard good things about it. This was, a, this was a blind buy. I saw the original Mexican film. This is their remake. I've heard good things. I picked it up. It wasn't very expensive. Yeah, good price. And I'm sure a lot, many of you have heard of this. From the guy who made uh, Brawl and uh, Bone Tomahawk. I um, enjoyed uh, Brawl quite a bit. So, An easy blind buy. Uh, director, whoever he is. <clears throat> um will be, um, uh, you, you have to watch him, you know, he's going to be um, an up-and-coming guy, um, you know, hopefully, um, The Ring Steelbook, which is a little dented along the top there, it's just a slight dent, but, and I did pick up the box set, but I needed this addition also in my collection which will will remain sealed and um, you know it's just a very nice um, cool looking steel book there um this is um death cure maze runner death cure it's the lenti lenticular cover um what is this uh blue is it blue fans yeah it's, it's blue fans i got this 
uh, from, uh, from a group by on High Def Ninja. Um, I, I liked the film. Um, my favorite in this series is uh, Scorch Trials part, or Part 2. Uh, but, you know, the original is great, uh, a great concept. Um, I thought it was original. Um, and I really enjoyed it. The Sicario Day of the Soldado or Day of the Soldier. Lenti from Kimchi DVD. Um, yeah. Uh, the film, uh, was, was good. It was a good film, but, the original, of course, is still the best. Not sure what to do with these. Uh, I think I've actually thrown some away. Um, these cards, you know, don't really need this. Yeah, I've, I've thrown some out. What is this? Is this heat? Oh, I thought that was from heat. Um... Yeah, um, I still like. I, I still prefer the original. This this one is good. It's a good flick. <clears throat> Sicario. There were three covers. Uh, I, I liked this one the best, and uh, I have no regrets. <clears throat> uh, I think that's it. Um, I think that's it. I you know have a little bit of. Of time, I I don't want to make these videos too long and bore people. Uh, let me just show you guys the media books. Whoopsie daisy. Um, real no, like real quick, so you guys could get could see. Um, start with start with the sixth film. Nice, right? I'm gonna turn six. Last resort. We're on turn five. Bloodlines. Four bloody beginnings. Left for Dead, aka part three. Dead End, part two. And the bust was of this guy. Uh, but I don't really need a bust. I don't have the room for it. As uh, nice as it was. And the original. A wrong turn. Um, this... There were two versions of these uh, released. Uh, they both went very quickly. Um, there was a white version, or, you know, the boxes were white-colored. And the black versions with the uh, black uh, cases. And I chose the black ones because, in my opinion, they're the best looking. All right? So, yeah. Uh, so, that's my haul. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday, um, the, what, 17th, I'm expecting from Diabolic uh, a package. Uh, I ordered the Annihilators. Uh, the UK, uh, the Arrow version, Region B. Uh, Kino is, um, uh, Kino's version is coming out in July, July 9th, I believe. Uh, and, um, um, I decided, well, you know, I don't want to wait like a month and a half. So I said, screw it. I'm going to pick up Arrow. Um, and they shipped it on Tuesday, I believe, or Wednesday. And it's due to arrive tomorrow. And I can't wait to check it out. It's, I haven't seen the film since the VHS days. Um, and the release is particularly exciting because the film has not been, has, has not been released on any format, um, since VHS, uh, in any country, in any format. Uh, I don't know about Laserdisc, uh, but, uh, it hasn't seen a, a home video release, um, official since the VHS days. Um, and uh, so that's coming in tomorrow. Um, I also ordered Class of 1984 from 101 Films because I saw uh, an unboxing of it on uh, YouTube and 
I really liked how it looked. It's got a booklet, uh, some very nice, cool artwork. Uh, yeah, the, the film, uh, this this film, Spring Breakers. Again, um, I wasn't crazy about it. It it's it's fun. It's a fun flick. Uh, the chicks are hot, and that's why I picked this up. And that's it for now, I guess. Uh, for those of you wondering why I have not updated my uh, complete collection video, the reason is I bought a camcorder, and I'm still learning how to use it. So hopefully, um, I will uh, get this uh, a ball rolling on on this um, on part two of this video.